Hello and welcome back to the Youth Academy Challenge on FIFA 22 as we hit December and FA Cup vibe is with us. We're away to Bristol Rovers in the, I'm assuming it's the first round. Actually, it's round two of the FA Cup, not round one. So are they in League 2? Um, yes, they are. Have we played Bristol Rovers already? I feel like we have. Some of the other games that are coming on today's episode as well, we've got quite a lot. Uh, we are going to be uh, away, uh, home to Tranmere Rovers. We will be taking on Forest Green and then three very important games. One, Crawley, which we will be playing. They are lying just above us. We've also got a week's break there before we play two in a matter of days against Scunthorpe, again, who are just above us, and Barrow as well. So, uh, yeah, these games are very, very important. But I think uh, what we will be doing, we'll be simulating the Tranmere, Forest Green, and possibly the Barrow game. But we will be playing this FA Cup tie just to get a feel for the game once again. It feels like it's been a while since I picked the uh, controller up. And uh, we will be playing the uh, Crawley and Scunthorpe because they are just above us. I know Barrow are as well, but literally above us are the other two teams. So let's jump into matters. We've got a lot to go through. There's a couple of uh, notifications coming through from the youngsters as well. Dalton, I know eventually that you're going to be looking for a striker. Uh, but I think I can do a job for you in that position if you give me a chance. Um, you know what? I'm very tempted with this guy, so I think this is your chance. So hopefully that should perk him up a little bit. Paige, I know that you're going to be looking for a new centre-back. Um, not sure whether he's one of our older guys or not. So uh, um, I'll take some hard work. And Jones as well. Ryan, 63. Yeah, I think he's one of the older ones as well i've been dreaming about this or or maybe not in fact i think he's starting isn't he i know there's more to come from you as well cool away we go then the fa cup second round as it looks like we're leaving our ground ryan jones a debut to remember well let's hope so we did bring him straight through promoting straight through the youth academy and straight into centre back option as it's uh, Bristol Rovers versus uh, Elson Youth. And uh, here we go. Let's get this uh, kickoff started. And uh, we have the kickoff. So let's um, get the ball. And hopefully we'll have a better episode this time. We need to start playing uh, a lot decent. And as we get better players coming through the ranks um, in the proposed positions, give him the ball. We'll have the shot, but it's a deflected. It's going to be put back in. We don't win it back though, but we should. Fiore should. Oh, is that? Oh, actually. That's lovely stuff. Fiore, Fiore is on the ball now. Um, he's struggling for uh, help there. I mean, it's a net opportunity. It's a good uh, pass, a good idea as well. But yeah, he's uh, miles offside. Oh, we've just missed the tackle altogether. Oh, he's just walked away. Wow, we've managed to get away with it. It's a good save from the goalkeeper, Serco. Duff's got to run. He's got to run. He's done him. He's trying to bring the small one down. It's a good cross, but again. Is it good enough? I don't think it was, though. There's nobody there. Help him! It's a good effort. Oh, it's a wonderful save. That was unfortunate. We're trying to turn things around, and that is a very, very good effort. Let's see what the corner brings us then. The head over under it, and wide as well from Jones. Referee, you're not going to. He should have held on to that, I think. It's a good tackle. Right, Serco, you've got a runner. There you go, Doff. He's away. Has to be a goal. It wasn't a goal. It's a good cross, but I don't think it's enough. Um, we're under it again. The, the danger is there if we can uh, get our players up there. So we're using the wingers effectively this time round. So much better performance than it was in the past uh, episodes. Good 
Of course, this I think this may go to penalties. Thomas with a good header as well. Well played. We've had 62% uh, possession. Wow, that's amazing. Four shots. Expected goals point eight. Not the best. Let's see if we can make a couple of changes here, though. Fiore, I'm going to bring back. Um, I'm going to bring Gal uh, Rita on. I think he's there. Uh, Adams, or I'm very tend to buy a Mato down this left hand side. Um, he's not as quick as Duff, though. So Bristol Rovers are looking to uh, force the home advantage. Luke Thomas. Yeah, it's a poor slide tackle. It's a good stop by Dunlop, but he, he almost spilled it though, which is uh, rather worrying. He is quick. It's a goal! Get in! Get in! We've got we've got a lead. Fifty-one minutes in. Is that Circa? No, it's Rita. Of course it is. We bring him on to push him up front to play along. Well, play with the, the Fiore. And I think we have to have them two players on the pitch, I feel. It's a good stop initially, but a very good follow-up as well. Concentrating on the goal at hand. And uh, we go 1-0. Oh, that's, that's possibly the best possible start we could have uh, asked for in the second half. We haven't got a runner, though, which um, we have now. And there he goes. Is that Oli? I don't think Oli has the legs though, unfortunately. But F oh, is in there. Oh, it's a it's played out wide again. <laughs> what are you doing? Fiore with a shot. Oh, it's saved. Again. That's a good header, right? Okay, Rita, off we go then, son. And that's a lovely ball from Rita. And De Merci's got it. Oh, it's a miss. He's missed a sitter. That should have happened. Uh, De Merci and Amato? I don't think so. Oh, on the volley. What was he thinking? De Merci again. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure why... He in all of statistics, he would have passed it to that person there. Right, okay, we're going to make a substitution now as well as we're looking very, very tired there in the middle of the park. I'm taking Ferreira or Adams. And we're going to actually... I want to have a look at uh, Amato. And where do we go? Who do we take off? Um... O can come in for Adams. We'll make that substitution as well. Right, okay, we can still continue with this 1-0 slender lead. The lads are on. Come on, boys. We've got 10 minutes to hold on. We're doing well. That's a good ball. It's not quite reaching the target, though. And uh, get up. <laughs> okay, here we go. This could be where we're dangerous at. No, no, no. Oh, I tell you what, it's a good save by Dunlop. And uh, we may have got away with it. Three minutes of added time now. Can we produce a shock? This will be a shock in any um, in recent form, at least anyway. We just need to get the ball. We do have the ball. I'll do. I mean, it's not the ball I wanted, but uh, we'll have that. Not quite getting there, but the referee should be blowing it though. It's a poor ball in, but it doesn't matter. We've won a game. It's the FA Cup. We're into the next round. It's a little bit of a warm up. Bristol Rovers probably one of the better sides we'll be playing today, hopefully. But if we play like that and slightly better, uh, just a few adjustments in some positions, we will uh, hopefully we'll, we will win a couple of games today. Tramir Rovers. Davison transfer offer 130,000. Is he one of our older players? He is. And to be perfectly honest, I think uh, we can say yes. Is there three offers on him? We will accept that offer. 
Right, on to the next one. We will be uh, simming this one, so we'll just take a few players out. Soko could come out. And uh, Dalton will come in. Uh, Soko could go on the bench, actually, to be perfectly honest. I mean, ahead of Adeyemi. Actually, Adeyemi can come in instead. Left back, Evans. Cummins will stick on the bench as well. I'm thinking maybe bringing Cummings on actually for Thomas. Uh, Thomas did really well. Shooting, passing, and dribbling is a lot better from Cummings. However, defending and physicals are slightly better for Thomas. I'm thinking maybe keeping him as they are. Right, okay, let's uh, jump straight into this next game then. Bramir Rovers at home. Can we pull off another great result? I thought we changed a couple. Fiore needs to come out, actually, doesn't he? Uh, just make that one change. Fiore can come out. Rita can come in. He's slightly tired as well. I'm very tempted with Ferreira as well. Let's do that. Let's bring Ferreira in. Fingers crossed, everybody. Quick in Simon. And away we go. And we will have a 2-0 victory against Tranmere Rovers. Wow, what a result. That win against Bristol Rovers is really... Uh, done the job and Dalton promised game time in the FA Cup. I didn't even play him Maybe I should have done so Dalton. I think if you've got time you can play in the next one. So that's a great result for us That should hopefully well, it'll get us closer off the bottom. We're still planted firmly at the bottom Just have a quick look at the table We've got Forest Green next who we will be uh, simming but as you can see Barrow Crawley and Scunthorpe right in front of us okay just before we sim this we've got some monthly scouting reports so let's have a look at our Francis then let's have a look at what you got for me a uh, couple of uh, a 16 year old and a 15 year old um, I'm not too particularly impressed with I'm not not that impressed with Jensen at the moment um, no 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 we'll keep scouting further and Newman, what have you got for us? Uh, three players. Now, he's we're, we're more likely to trust. Uh, overalls, 39 to 53 is not brilliant. Won't get him into the side straight away, but um, he's left footed, though. Theodore Wheatley, 66 to 88 rated, 41 minimum, 15 year old. We could potentially bring him in. And then Nathan Arnold, again, not brilliant. Not brilliant at all, but we can. Uh, we'll sign Theodore, though. And the others will leave as they are. I'm not that impressed with them, the players coming in. But then again, we can't do it all. Cummins can come off on, I think, for um, Thomas, I think, there. Adams, we're going to give him a little bit of a run out as well. For uh, O. And Dalton, you're going to carry on. You're going to carry on. Shall we bring Fiore in there? We'll bring Fiore in for Rita as well. Barry on this left and side. We'll leave it as it is. We'll leave it as it is. We don't want to change it too much, but then again, um, it would be nice if we got some results. Right, okay, sim in this game. And it's a 2 2 draw. Dalton once again with another brace. And as you can see, we concede late on in the game again. Just as we went ahead, seven minutes later, we uh, concede the equaliser. Seems to be the story of our season so far. So far, so good in today's episode. Hume then, he's completed some sort of training. So let's have a quick look at Hume. Left winger, I think we uh, asked him to. Pace, I'm not sure whether we want to change him to left winger. Quite possibly, because we are using wingers to be fair. So we'll uh, change him to left winger. And let's... Um, not possibly shooting, but passing and dribbling. We need him to do a little bit more, don't we? Wide playmaker. Passing. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's get them passes in there as well. As we move on to the next game. Davidson has been sold and we get £80,000 to the kitty. Hardly seems worth it, does it? And uh, to uh, Thomas. Boss, just want to say thanks. I suppose I took a chance talking to you, but it seems like you were ready to listen. Okay, you know what? I'm glad you came and talked to me because I think you've uh, been pretty damn good. Excellent stuff. Right, okay, let's uh, move on to the next game then. Where we will 
eventually play this game against Crawley. Unless it's Craw... So hang on a moment. We are going to be playing Crawley. We're not going to be simming. We actually are going to be playing Crawley. Uh, risk losing three players. Um, just to remind you, the foreign contract's up for renewal. Page, Haywood and Tim... Yeah, these players are older players which we are looking to offload anyway. The six months less re uh, remain on the contract. Any player 23 years or older, of course, free to negotiate. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, we know that we're going to lose them anyway, so which will tidy the squad up a little bit more, which we will only have um, young players in. So let's have a look at the squad very, very quickly. So on that basis of what's been happening, uh, we're going to bring Thomas back in. Uh, Bruno, Barry on the left hand side, Duff, Adams, uh, we got O, which can, he can come back in, and I'm very tempted with Rita, I'm wondering whether to put Rita, Adams instead of Rita, I mean Rita or, or Gallo, I mean these are our better players aren't they, we do have to, I mean maybe we just switch them around, we'll do that instead, okay that looks a little bit more tidier doesn't it, um, Serco needs to come onto the uh, bench um, for Adeyemi, I think. And any other players that we could have a look at instead. Um, ah, Hume. We are at 18, maybe. We'll have a look at Amato first. Demerchi, you can come back in as well for who do you take out Ferreira or uh, we'll take out Ferreira and uh, put him back in there right okay that is our side hopefully we can carry on this winning streak that we're on two wins and a draw in this episode so far can we go ahead and win this game and here we go the bus Parks up four goals in his last three games, or I'd say four in his last two, actually, to be perfectly honest. But uh, yeah, Dalton comes onto the scene, and also I have managed to change our kit colours as well. So uh, we're away from home, it was going to be a colour clash, as you probably would expect. So uh, we're in the yellow this time, and that seems a Seems a little bit better actually. Let's go wide. As we play it down the line, and it's Dalton. Dalton looks like he's 20 foot tall. Great shot on the goalkeeper, and Morris does well to hold on to it. And then he chucks it out like a flipping machine. It's like a Terminator. Uh, it's uh, offside, so that's a very, very fast moving. Again, it's a poor head, uh, poor cross, I think. It's an effort and another chance on goal. I mean, we should be 3 0 up at this point, I think. Uh, we should get a header on there. In front of goal, you've got to hit the target, I think, as we win it back. Um, it's a throw into Crawley. It's very, very fast paced this game. As uh, Oh, we almost win that ball. Fiore, go on, son. It's a finish, Dalton again. Look at him. I think we may have found our forward, folks. Why we've kept him out is uh, beyond me. But uh, we've gone 1-0 up in this very, very fast-paced game. What a finish. As I take a drink, I'm just... Um, what a finish that is. A lovely cross and on the uh, first-time goal. Dalton away from the goal. Aiden, well played. Five goals in three games. Is he going to get another brace, we wonder? Nicely done. Now can they That's a lovely ball over the top. Fiore. All hands on deck. And it might it's got it's easy. It's Dalton again. Get in. <laughs> it's 2 0. Are we turning? Is it a kit? Do we play in our away kit from now on? Answers on a postcard down below. The Crawley fans are just in shock. And this Ilson, ta uh, Ilson FC club now got firmly off the bottom sights. Um, 
in their sights, should I say. But that is a, it's a wonderfully worked goal as well. Fiore doing really well there. And um, is that Madison for Cro Why? Why have we got players away? Oh, if you're going to get it, you do win it. But uh, we give it away again. That's a lovely ball. We're looking for a header. Oh, it's just one. Well, we're not sure if it's just one, but it looked it looked very uh, tight. But and look how tall Dalton is. Oh, that's a good play by Crawley though, as he tries to play it down the line. What's happened there? Is that an offside? It's an offside. We need to get players back. Is that right back? Left back even. Right back. I was right. Where's Bruno gone? Okay. <laughs> I mean, they're all um, fighting over who's going to clear it. Oh, it's not quite, but Duff, can he outrun him? Can he outrun him? I think he can. Uh, we try to walk it in here. But uh, it gets all the way back to the goalkeeper. We might need to make a couple of more changes, it may be. Just to waste a bit of time if we can, but at the moment, we've not really done much this second half. Right, let's make a couple of changes then. We've got uh, Gallo who's looking very tight. Uh, Rita can come in there. And I'm thinking... Um, hmm. I thought we had another uh, midfielder. Amato. We're going to get take a look at Amato. Probably the best time to do it at the moment. Let's see if we can get the ball first. I don't know if these changes have been made already. The wait till the ball's gone out, isn't it, normally? Uh, we get doing that header, though. That's a good ball. Cut inside. Lovely stuff. Duff with a smack. Oh, he doesn't get it. Not quite. Get up, get up, get up. We fouled him. But the referee's not taking any notice. And he's beaten offside. But the goalkeeper should get there. He does. Bravely. Uh, let's just roll it out. We've got two minutes. Let's just pass the ball around. There we go. We're going to see this game out now. Down this line. Lovely stuff. And that's it. The referee calls time. And we have ourselves another victory. I'll take this one. I don't mind either way. I don't, know, don't care how they come. But it's a 2-0 and a quick blast from uh, Dalton again with another brace. That is a fantastic result. 2-0. And we seem to be uh, picking goals up at least. Anyway, we've got two more games to go. This episode is going to be a little longer than normal. But, uh, at the moment, again, 59% uh, possession. We're getting the possession and our passes are going up ever so slightly. And look at that. Duff gets a uh, player performance of the match and shots are increasing again. Right, um, we're still rooted to the bottom of the table, unfortunately. Right, we're going to go into the next game then. We have got Scunthorpe. This is a game we are going to be playing, though. So it's either Barrow or Scunthorpe. I think Scunthorpe is the, um, is the game really to play that we need to. So uh, we'll uh, advance to that one and we'll see you guys in just a second. Right, looking at our uh, youth academy at the moment, there is a guy that's 16 years old now. He we can promote in four star, five star week four. Look at that, that's absolutely amazing. If we just have a look at his other traits, I mean, for a cam, it's not too bad. He's uh, been trained as a playmaker at the moment. I'm just wondering how long he's actually got. Another week to go, and then he's up there on passing at least anyway. So, yeah, Eduardo Romano. Quite excited to have him. Potential 64 to 76. Again, it's not very high, but possibly a player we can um, move on, maybe. We'll promote him to the first team anyway. We don't want to lose any of these players because once we do, we can't get them back unless we pay uh, quite a lot of money. But um, there are just a couple more players in here. They're not very great, though, to be perfectly honest. Right, Scunthorpe at home. Let's have a quick look at the side. We've got a Fiore Oga. They played really well, but I'm very tempted instead of, oh, I'm thinking of uh, Adams in there, actually, to be perfect. Or shall we just play Rita in there? Maybe Rita is a player that we can actually uh, train to be a centre midfielder, maybe. Shoko, um, I'm going to leave Dalton in there. 
Dalton's got the goals to prove his worth at the moment. So once again, it's say uh, another um, another long episode. So again, I do apologise, but a lot of games to get through. Six games this episode, and we were playing three. So uh, whether or not I'll be able to um, reduce them down quite a bit will be uh, another matter. But uh, hopefully, we will be able to. It's gone thought once again. It's a good goal. The goalkeeper not being able to do much about that one, though. But to be perfectly honest, he didn't really get off the floor, did he? Oh. It had to be in. He's missed an opportunity, Fiore. You'd expect him to put that away. It's a good, uh, it's a good header straight into the arms of uh, Bilson there in goal for Scunley. That's better. Demerch is loads of... And that's the finish. And O oh, gets it. What a finish that is. Right on half time as well. And that is a beautiful header. It's one we've been working for. That's been off the training ground. And O oh, with a wonderful finish. The headband obviously getting in the way with the speed that hit the back of the net. We'll see that one again. Demerch with a lovely finish. Well, lovely cross. Right on his bonds. What that diff number five was doing, literally leaping over, literally on top of him. But oh, with a wonderful, wonderful finish. Again, it's poor passing. That's what's really let this uh, side down. It's a good defensive header, but uh, nobody's run out. They just stood there. Can they make one of these passes count? Wonderful chance. Double stop by Dunlop. Absolutely world class. And Barry, this is the reason why we weren't playing Barry. The passings. Wow, that's down to Barry. The back in front. The mistake by Barry. Good uh, back heel. The goal. Oh, he's not quick. Oh, he has Dalton. Has got it. Go on, go on, son. He's not the quickest. He's I tell you what, this boy can shoot. Absolutely brilliant. Cutting inside. I thought I'd have cooked it a little bit. Going too far inside and then swinging it too far wide. But that is a wonderful finish. Aidan Dalton. Eight goals in 13 matches. He's proven to be an absolute steal for us. Gallo. Needs some help. Or not. He's going for it. He's going for it. Gallo. Gallo! He's done it! What a run straight through that middle of that park. And, wow, we thought he'd um, lost the ball originally. And then, somehow, he's managed to hold on to the ball. Run straight through the heart of the defence. Or the heart of the midfield of Scunthorpe. And, uh, yeah, I was going to pass it back, though, to be fair. But uh, with a shot like that, it's 3-2, folks. We've turned it around. What a victory this will be if we can hold on now. And maybe uh, we may need to change a few things. But um, is Fiore now on goal? Oh, it's easy. Dalton, is that a hat-trick? 4-2. This is... Uh, it's an onslaught. Absolute onslaught. It's a bit of a sweaty goal, but I don't care. <laughs> We want to play the easy goals. We like to see worldies. But it's all about survival. And that is a wonderful pass. And what a finish. I mean, I'm not sure if that's his hat trick or not. I couldn't tell you. But Dalton on the score sheet once again. And he's proven to be the forward we've been missing. Uh, God, really? Could this happen? Barry. Ba oh, he's been like. That's a. I tell you what, last map is gone. He has gone, and we've literally Fiore for retail. We'll change. We'll change that. I'm so ecstatic about this game so far. What a victory! This is turning out to be as Rita comes in, and uh, we're going to go for goal on this one. Um, he lobs it. I mean, it's a poor free kick, actually. To be fair. 
Oh, it's a chip over the goalkeeper, and that is what we're talking about. And the crowd is jumping. Cat Lane is now... Well, can we say we are in a fight here for survival? What a game this is turning out to be. What a ball that is. He gets close to the goalkeeper and then just chips it, waits for him to go down, and then just chips it over the goalkeeper. Barry, what a finish. This is proving to be a very, very good game. And it's just uh, showcasing some of the uh, attributes our kids have got. And wow, what a victory. 5-2 against Scunny. And we are. Could we be on the climb? Uh, there's one goal I did want to have a look at, wasn't there? Um, the, was it the Gallo goal? No, it wasn't the Gallo goal. Was it the Aiden goal? I think it might have been... Um, Eden's got, I think it might have been his goal. Whereas, a, a, no, it wasn't this one, was it? That's the uh, pass. Okay, it wasn't that one. It might have been this one on the 67th minute. It was. I mean, that is a, it's a wonderful goal. It's a wonderful finish. We'll watch it from this angle. Might be a better angle though. Cuts inside, and wow, smacks it right into the goalkeeper. You've got a question. We get 56% possession, 60 passes completed in that game, nearly half the oppositions. That's not good, but it just means that we were a lot more clinical. Right, okay, let's have a look at what this table looks like before we go into the final game of the episode. And hopefully that will see us off the bottom of the table. It does, it sees us climb to 21st position. Uh, a couple of places off the bottom, actually, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, we've got 24 points now, six wins. Three points ahead of Crawley, Swindon, and now Scunthorpe. We've got Barrow in our sights. We win that, and we could potentially... Well, we'll probably climb one more spot, maybe. But it all depends whether... I mean, there's a five-goal turnaround in goal difference. So let's move along to that very quickly, and we'll finish off this episode. Dalton, unfortunately, is really tired, so he's going to have to come out for this game. Uh, Rita's going to start instead of Fiore. Oh, needs a break, so we have got Gallo that can jump straight in here, so that's good news. Uh, I'm very tempted with uh, Adams here. Where is he? Uh, what's our back four look like? Our back four looks okay at the moment. Uh, where's Adam? Is Adam already playing? I can't see Adam. Maybe he's not playing already. Um, Adams is there, so I'm thinking Adams for, oh, just give him the break altogether. Dalton, Dalton I'm, hopefully he'll come on maybe score a brace as well, you never know. But Amato, I'm going to start Amato instead of Duff this time. This left back position is really worrying me at the moment because uh, Barry is just not good enough. Wilson we could possibly use... Uh, but while we're on this form, it'd be silly to change things around, I think. Right, okay, I think we're going to leave it at that. Or Bruno, maybe? Bruno's playing really well at the minute, so we'll save that and we'll sim this next game. They're playing three cam uh, three midfielders in there, possibly two cams, maybe? Two fours, Gordon and Kane. Right, okay, let's quick sim this game. Can we get the result we're after? And we come away with a 1-0 victory. So what an absolute stunner of an episode today. There's just the one blip, the 2-2 draw against Forest Green. But apart from that, we've come away with the victories. That is amazing. Soko getting the early goal of the game on the uh, half time, which I'm really chuffed with. Let's just have a look at the player ratings. Uh, 8.6 from Dunlop. 8.2 from Soko or Soko. On the bench, Demerky 7.3, Ferreira 7.1. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Rita 7.5. Right, okay, let's advance and have a look and see where we finish off this month in the table. And uh, we have climbed to 20th position now. So 24 games played, 7 wins, 6 draws, 6 losses, minus 10 goal difference. But more importantly, we are... Uh, I'm not sure how many teams go down. Is it three, two? But we are moving away from the uh, relegation zone. And I'm not sure how close we are to... Right, 36 points. So we're already nine points off seventh spot. I mean, 
I'm not expecting everything to happen in the first season, but could it really? Right, let's have a look at what's going to come up in the next episode then. It looks like we've got uh, Hartlepool, Birmingham away in the FA Cup. I'm guessing that is. It is the FA Cup third round. We've drawn Birmingham away from home. Looks like Leighton Orient possibly. Harrogate are in there as well. Uh, Sutton United there. Harrogate, like I said. And uh, Rochdale. So another uh, six-game episode. Wow. Um, we probably won't um, play the FA Cup game, but uh, we'll see. We might sim it and then jump in, possibly. We'll see. But, um, yeah, there's a couple of good uh, games in here. Like Harrogate's one of them. Hartlepool, maybe, will uh, decide for which games we are going to be playing. But, yeah, another month in another episode. Right, okay. We're going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And until the next episode, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.